The benefits of the social security schemes introduced into the pharma sector by government cannot be overemphasized. These include the National Health Insurance Scheme, National Housing Fund, the Pension Commission, amongst others. How best to include individuals and groups who operate outside the purview of government regulations, who also contribute immensely to the economic growth, is the focus of the one-day meeting of the interest groups. Permanent Secretary for the Minister of Labor and Productivity, represented by Director of Special Duties of the Ministry, expressed optimism that the meeting would address the challenges of the informal sector operators who are vulnerable to both human and natural hazards in their areas of operation. This meeting will create a strong social protection system which has all the requisite tools and technology requires to deliver and complement the government mandate to achieve the, play, the pains of the informal and vulnerable people. In I want to harmonize the two policies that we have on ground and chart a way forward on how we are going to have a common social security policy for the country. The informal sector produces the highest people in employment and this large number of people are not covered. How do we cover them? It's a good start for us. Other collaborating partners, however, explain that efforts are underway to ensuring that these categories of workforce are organized into cooperatives to enable them key into the regulated social security schemes. In Abuja, Kenneth Nanim, NTN News.